The Center for Social Justice has expressed worry over the failure of the Adamawa and Sokoto states government to adopt the Child's Rights Act, Violence Against Persons Prohibition Act, as well as setting up the gender-based violence response teams in their states. Director of the center, Eze Onyekleri, spoke to newsmen in Abuja at the end of a two-day workshop held in collaboration with the European Union United Nations Spotlight Initiative as part of efforts to eliminate violence against women and girls in Nigeria. We noted that two of the focal states, Adama and Sokoto, have not adopted the Child Rights Act, the Violence Against Person Prohibition Act, nor have they set up by law sexual and gender-based violence response teams. We need to understand issues around mainstreaming these challenges in policy, law, and budgeting frameworks, so that at the end of the day, we will have a system that attends to these issues, not just on paper, but also in real life. On our law books, on our policy books, very beautiful documents and standards, but what happens in actual life is different. So we made a commitment that we want to see break life into the policy documents and legal documents. We are also engaging advocacy for adoption in the focal states of Adama and Sokoto of the Child Rights Act, establishing by law of the sexual and gender-based violence response teams and the narcissistic laws prohibiting domestic violence. We also agree that there will be great sensitization and engagement of religious leaders on the provisions of the penal codes of Adamo and Sokoto states on the age of marriage and consent to marriage, as anyone below the age of 18 is deemed to be a child by law. We will do this through media advocacy, engaging the religious leaders, um, all other forms of advocacy, if possible litigation.